Hello everybody, welcome to Mark's Remarks. Today I'm going to be making a sandwich using a tiger bread. 400 grams, one pound from the co-op. It's nice and fresh. I, I picked it up like um, half an hour ago, about uh, 10 uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. A sandwich with ham and chicken, along with some cheese and some Branston pickle. There we go. And if I can think of anything else to add, then I'll do that. I'm sort of winging it. Okay, uh, right, I'm going to slice up the bread now. Okay, first job, I'm going to cut it down the down the middle. I'm just trying to work out how to do this, whether to cut it long ways or, uh, you know, I'm going, to, I'm going to do it this way. So it's very soft bread. It's very fresh. Probably made it this morning. Anyway, okay, so we've got half a loaf there. Cut it uh, down the middle. Oop, it's going a bit all over. I was looking at the viewfinder while I was cutting this. And went in a funny direction. There we are. So that's, uh, yeah, that should do it. That should be a nice one. First job, get some margarine on there. I'm using utterly butterly because it was a pound. Okay, just uh, spread that on there. Not too, uh, not too thick. You don't want it to be uh, have too much on there. Now, first ingredient. I'm going to put some. Uh, British pork, it says honey here. Ugh. Six slices of honey roast ham. Apparently it's Tesco's finest. So we'll see. All right, Jeez, it's looking quite nice. Okay. It's hard to get out of the packet, actually. Okay, we'll put some, um, let's go, what we got there? Six slices. So we want to be kind of, uh, Spreading out a bit here because there's only six. Okay, getting it all around the all around the edges. It's nothing worse than uh, taking a bite of a sandwich and it's all bread. Okay, next thing. Slices of chicken. There you go, it wasn't easy to get the packet open. But uh, these are very thin. Okay, so one one on there. I'm gonna slice up some tomato. Bit of tomato, a little bit of cheese. This is the block of where's it gone? Uh, cheddar cheese. There we go. I'm about halfway through it now. I've uh, I sharpened my knife so it's a lot easier to um, cut it, which is great news. Okay, a uh, bit of cheese on there. I'm going to go for a little bit more ham. And uh, yeah, they, they, the thing is, they folded up the, the ham. So you've got to unfold, it's not very uh, pain. Normally when I buy the ham, it's in slices, you know, and it's just all there. But what they've done, they've taken the slices, folded them, and then stuffed them into a packet. Which is a little bit awkward of them. Okay, nice bit of, uh, a bit more ham, I think, in the corner. There we are. Uh, what else have we got? Another piece of chicken slice. In fact, two chicken slices. Okay, where's the Branston? Right, next thing, Branston pickle. Okay, the Branston pickle, big spoonful of it on the, the upper piece of the bread. There you go, a good amount. 
not being uh, stingy at all with the with the Branston. There you go. And uh, a little bit more cheese. Yeah, this cheese is kind of strong. Okay. Next thing to do is try and get the top on it. There. There we are. It's quite a thick sandwich. Lots of ham, lots of chicken, tomato and cheese. There you go. If I hadn't had Branston pickle, I would have probably added some of that mustard that I bought the other week. Okay, let's give it a taste test. Oh, so this is a, quite a handful. There we go. The bread is crispy. Mm. I think it's quite fresh because I bought it early in the morning, about 11 in the morning. The trouble was I didn't have those uh, round rolls that I like. I was looking for those, I had to settle for this. Mm. So it's the first couple of bites. Oh, she bread. I'm going to have another bite, see if I can get into the middle. Yeah, I'll go into the middle there. Very good. All the flavours of the ham, the ham's starting to come through. And the strong cheese. Mmm. Possibly some gherkin would have gone in this very well. Maybe. Just for a bit of crunch. Um, in fact, I've, I've got it in my head, I'm thinking of some corned beef for some reason to add to this. Just to give it some uh, extra texture, but two meats is good, three would have been good, but if I was to put a third in there, corned beef perhaps. Mm. This is a good sandwich. The pickle is very good. It's quite sweet. In fact, if you didn't have uh, Branston pickle, or any kind of pickle really, you know, you know a shop brand, perhaps uh, some of those chutneys that I've been using over the last few months. Any of those chutneys. Onion chutney. Apple chutney. All that lot. That would have gone really well. Anyway. Okay, I'm going to finish this. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'm going to put a couple of videos here. If you fancy, click on one of those. It'll take you to one of my other recipes. All right. Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy. I'm going to go enjoy this now.